Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we have my Sephora Spring Savings Event Haul. So uh, this round is not sponsored by Sephora. I paid for all of these with my own money. I needed more stuff. So anyways, let's get into it. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And um, if you've been living under a rock and you need details about the Sephora savings event, I will put the deets down below for you. But you know, I'm rouge. <laughs> like they need a tier above rouge because I would be that. And so I got 20% off and there was some new things that they added and I just couldn't help myself and I needed more. So let's get into it. I'm wearing most of the items that I'm hauling today as well as some other items. If you want to check the description box, First things first, I couldn't help myself, you guys. I had to pick up the Kosas Brow Collection, even though so many new eyebrow products have come out. Um, but the packaging on this, it's it's like children's toys, but it's so cool. So we'll start off with the Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil. Look at this packaging. It is so cute. And the pencil itself, you guys, I love. So I got the shade medium brown. It is made in Korea. So I like the spoolie on here. It really separates the brow hairs. And here is what the tip looks like. It's one of those triangle tips, which aren't my absolute favorite, but they get the job done. No complaints really. Now this is definitely a stiffer brow pencil. It's not creamy. You have a lot of control. Look how light you can get your stroke. Well, okay, well, you can see it's not the creamiest. You can get a really light stroke or you can put it down for a really dark stroke so you have a lot of flexibility and I love a dry eyebrow pencil yeah I hate creamy eyebrow pencils I just feel like they make my eyebrow look one color as opposed to natural like brow like strokes and this gives that to me so so far I've only used it today but I'm loving it and I love this color on me now I believe this one might be sold out but this is the air brow and I really I guess they're both the same because I got two colors so I used today the tinted one which is medium brown and so if, I'm not a huge fan of tinted brow gels but I, I think I really like this one it seems to have separated my hairs they seem to be held in place without feeling like hairspray but I want to try this this on its own to really see the potential that it has but you guys if you're interested in this you really need to get the clear one I have no clue if it works I didn't try it today but this holographic packaging is sending me to heaven it's so pretty I purely bought these for the packaging because the packaging looks so cool and I can confirm it's so cool in person like it's way cooler actually i love luxury packaging and expensive looking packaging like these don't look expensive but i'm living i love them so much okay let's move on from the brow products i got two cream contour bronzing whatever product so a lot of you guys asked me if i picked up the nar sun kissed bronzing cream i hemmed and hawed i posted about it when it launched on uh what was it nordstrom I said i don't know i don't know well the second it launched on sephora i was like i definitely need to pick this up for the event and i got the shade laguna i know there's two shades and I really like it. It really kind of defines the cheek. It has a nice neutral tone to it where it does much more than just bronzing and I've only used it today. I used a damp beauty blender to apply it and it applied really really nice. It wasn't the most creamy cream bronzer that I've ever used in my life but it's not dry by any means. It blended out really nice but I, I definitely had to work it out a little bit but I really like the color of it. I've only used it once so I can't talk too much about it but so far I think I really like it so I'm giving it a thumbs up. Made in Italy. I really think it's a beautiful product from the one time I've used it. I also have been wanting to pick up some Danessa Myricks things so I took advantage and I picked up the Power Bronzer which is a matte bronzing and shaping cream in the shade light. It's a different texture than the NARS. It's a little bit more, I don't know, like thick feeling, whereas the NARS, when you touch it, it almost melts. This doesn't really melt. It, like, you pick up the cream. Anyways, it's a very different color. I have it on this side of my face, so it's not going to be more brown-based like the NARS, which kind of chisels the cheek. This one 
almost gives warmth. Um, I don't normally go for bronzers this color, but it really is a nice change. It's almost a little bit more yellow to where it makes me look a little bit more sun-kissed. So whereas this kind of snatches the cheek, this Danessa Myers color, and I'm sure she has deeper colors that probably would be more similar to the NARS. It's a different vibe, and I really do like it, though I will say this is something that I would want to mix with, like, a product like the NARS because, I mean, the sides look completely different. So, like, I would take probably right here a little bit. I've been waiting to do this on camera for you guys. A little bit of the NARS just right here just to kind of even things out. But I really like a little bit of the depth in here and then the warmth that the Danessa Myricks provides. So it's just not a color that I'm quite used to for a cream bronzer. But the cream itself was really nice. It blended out beautifully. And this color is very unique for me, but it still looks really good, really warm. I also picked up a Vision Flush from Danessa Myricks as well. I chose the shade bread and butter and it's a liquidy product and you know her packaging is very very simple and this is what's on this cheek right now talk about a pretty natural glow to the cheek they say that you can use this for eyes and lips as well I put it on my lips for a little bit I wasn't that big of a fan I thought it looked a little bit dry on my lips but this on the cheek is so glowy natural pretty you can get a really light wash it's not overly pigmented but you can also build it up and get quite a lot of pigment I really love of this shade so if you like a more pinky blush I think you will enjoy this. This was on my wish list for the last few weeks so I picked up a new Laura Mercier blush. I feel like it's been so long since I've picked up a Laura Mercier powder product but this just looked beautiful to me for some reason. I think a lot of people got PR of these blushes and they looked beautiful so I wanted one. So I picked up the shade Passion Fruit and these guys are made in Italy. Oh, I love Italy and this is what is on this cheek and it has such a pretty glow. I didn't realize it would be so glowy on the cheek, but if you like a pink blush, I think you really like this. The way that it applied was so beautiful. Now, when I first opened it, I was a little bit worried. I was like, well, I hope that carries enough pigment. It does, and I'm thinking about doing a round two on this blush and getting some other colors because I'm really enjoying the formula. I will say though, comparing it to the cream side right here and the outer side, I forgot how beautiful cream just applies to the skin. It's sunken into the skin in a beautiful way. Whereas this is a powder, you can kind of see it sitting on top of the skin. I, I'm just reminded why I love cream blush so much, but nonetheless, this is an absolutely beautiful powder blush. A couple eyeshadow palettes. There haven't really been that many exciting eyeshadow palette launches but we'll start off with the one that I'm wearing I couldn't help myself I just thought the Too Faced teddy bear palette was so cute when this was first revealed I think it was like not supposed to be revealed I told you guys I really liked it uh, something about it was attractive to me and I must say it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be um I'll just show you what the next one is this is the uh, melt cosmetics palette do you see how tiny it is I thought that this was rather affordable for Too Faced when I ordered it and it's because it's so small which I prefer paying less for a smaller product but anyways you have such a cute uh teddy bear packaging it's really small it's really compact and then you open it up and you have all of these shades they're very very tiny like this blending brush you can see it almost takes up the whole pan and this is the look that I'm wearing so I started off with this shade all over the lid just to set my concealer then I use this shade in the crease then we use this shade mostly packed in the inner part of the crease but I did blend it all over because I wanted a pink pop then we built depth with these two shades right here and then I finished off with this shade takes up the center of the eyelid and that's what's adding that nice red tone and then this shade right here is my inner corner shade and overall I mean this was a decent palette I've been more impressed by other Too Faced palettes I would say like their holiday palettes the tin ones are always just so phenomenal this isn't as good as those but it's solid I think that the deeper shades lacked a little bit of pigmentation and the shimmer shades they were good you know, I use, I love Pat McGrath, so Pat McGrath does it better, uh, as they should. So this reminds me a lot of Huda Beauty. I feel like I could definitely get this look with the Huda Beauty palette, and a lot of the textures also seem similar. So overall, I think it's solid, and it's definitely worth the price. I'm not head over heels in love with it, but I think it's just really convenient, really tiny, and it has some really great colors packed in here. You saw a moment ago, I did pick up the Mary Jane palette from Melt. I couldn't help it. It's just, it's right up my alley, guys. Now, 
I must say, you got, I'm kind of over the theme that is this palette. They do it every year for 420 and guys, I'm like, I'm a health teacher. I teach about drugs and I just, as a teacher and having this platform, I just don't feel comfortable really talking about a palette with this theme. It just makes me feel unprofessional to be quite honest. Otherwise, I wouldn't have picked up this palette, but this color story, I had to... I will do you see this it's it's very reminiscent of the glam palette I haven't tried this I haven't swatched it or anything like that yet so I can't say much you know being a teacher uh I'm definitely not the demographic for this palette but dang the colors are in here Whew, I can't wait to try it all right two more products you guys so I wanted to try the Huda Beauty automatic lip pencil you guys know Product knowledge enthusiast, I just had to get one just to know, just to be able to tell you what the formula is like. I picked up this shade Honey Beige. I definitely chose that shade because I just loved the way that it sounded, but it's a beautiful, neutral, leaning a little bit warm. I thought actually when I applied it, it looked a lot more orange than I was expecting. Now, it's not a strong orange color, but it doesn't lean as pink as I thought it was going to. But anyways, if you like a really creamy pencil, she definitely picked out a creamy form for this and it's not a sharpenable pencil it is an automatic pencil but you do get a sharpener to kind of redo the tip up here but it's so far in the 20 minutes that I've been wearing it it's a nice creamy lip liner and it's a great color so I recommend it okay last one this is a lipstick I've been eyeing for a while now and you guys told me how beautiful it was and you totally egged me on and were my bad influence so I finally picked up one of the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that came in this collection with this packaging I believe it was the Lunar New Year collection and I picked out the shade Sweet Blossom and I just I've been having FOMO that I didn't have a lipstick in this compact and Sweet Blossom looked like the color for me and it's this very muted rosy red right here it goes perfectly with my eyes and it's a bit brighter than I thought it was going to be a bit more red on me but I mean it's really really pretty and I love the Charlotte Dilbury formula particularly the kissing finish because of that sheen so all in all I'm very happy that I finally bit the bullet and picked this up and I was gonna buy this when it first originally launched so at the very least because I waited I did get to save 20% and yeah, guys, that was relatively quick, I feel like, for a Sephora haul. So if you're needing more, everybody and their mother's posting theirs. I probably have a few more orders that I'm going to place just for some video ideas. And I just want more. I love this season of sales. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.